Now up to Augusta to the Statehouse today in a public hearing over a last minute push for Maine Democrats for a controversial red flag law. The bill would allow a family member to ask a judge to remove somebody's guns if they're deemed to be a danger to themselves or to others. Connor Clement has more from Augusta. Dozens gathered here at the State House to discuss their thoughts on the newly proposed bill by House Speaker Rachel Talbot Ross. And as you can imagine, there were strong opinions on both sides. We urge you to vote not to pass on LD 2283. Mainers voiced their support and concern before the Judiciary Committee on LD 2283. The bill is in direct response to the Lewiston shootings that left 18 dead in October. I think everyone in this room has heard about warning signs that were missed cries for help that went unanswered, and lives that could have been saved. The bill would effectively bypass the need for a mental health evaluation to remove someone's guns if a judge grants an emergency order. Joe Anderson, who was working at Central Maine Medical Center the night of the shootings, founded Maine Providers for Gun Safety after the tragedy. He said he wanted to be an advocate for gun safety. Anderson shared his support for the bill. We really think that families know their family members best and know when there's an unsafe situation. And so that's really what this is doing is empowering families to keep their, their loved ones safe. While Democrats have signaled support for new weapons removal measures, many Republicans have opposed the bill, saying it infringes on Mainers' rights. Laura Whitcomb, the president of Gun Owners of Maine, says her members share that opposition. We have laws on the books, such as protection from abuse orders, yellow flag laws, and regular warrants that would allow people to feel safe without infringing on the due process of gun owners. As for what's next for the bill, there is talk of possibly another hearing happening next week, followed by a work session. But it is important to note that the 131st legislative session is set to end in mid-April. So if there is a vote coming this session, you can expect it to be coming very soon. Reporting in Augusta, Connor Clement, Maine's Total Coverage. And